Good morning to everyone. As she tosses the mic, I'm just going to make sure that I'm good here and that y'all can hear me. So if there is any glitches in tech or maybe my volume's low, just let me know in the chat. But it is so nice to be with all of y'all. And thank you for starting your morning, your Saturday morning early with us. We know there's a lot you could be doing right now. There's a lot you could not be doing right now. If there's anybody who knows what it's like to stay in bed an entire Saturday, that is me. So thank you for getting up and starting your day with us and bringing your whole heart to this space. If you're waking up in Austin this morning, I hope you're enjoying these cooler temperatures. I was excited and kind of caught off guard when I went outside this morning. It was super cool. Um, I definitely have like a Cookie Monster long sleeve Snuggie I fully intend to put on later today, but I spared y'all this morning. And if you guys are anything like me, you have probably been go, 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 a million Zooms. I kind of feel like a Zoom speed dater these days. I just hop out of one Zoom and into the next. And this is one Zoom experience. I was just beyond thrilled to hop into this morning. I was kind of like a kid on Christmas Eve last night or before a big holiday when you're just so excited and you can't wait to gather. So it was exciting to wake up and get to start this day with y'all. And thank you for showing up. I hope this event can be deeply nourishing for you and nurturing. Whatever it is that you came for today, I hope that you leave feeling a sense of self-love and fulfillment in the way that you needed it, whether that's on a physical level, emotional, mental, spiritual, whatever it is that you showed up for. I hope that this event can be of benefit to you. I also want to encourage you as we get started today to create a sacred space around you, whatever that might look like, just to help you direct your focus inward. So maybe you light a candle or maybe you're like Dawn and you're just spritzing yourself with lavender spray the whole day. Maybe you turn off uh, the devices around you that you don't need. Even if there's a lot going on around you, or kids playing or friends nearby, just employing those tools that can help you direct your focus inwards. So for me, that looks like I've got a uh, sandalwood incense wafting over here and I've got sleepy time tea, hopefully not too sleepy and natural light coming in, just the things that help me get in that setting and that, that environment to be really supportive and nourishing. So I'm going to go over just a few details about meditation so you can make the most of your practice this morning. And I do have my eyes on the time, so we will keep it brief. And if you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready for adult nap time already. I totally get you. Go ahead and close your eyes and get comfortable. But I'm just going to go over a few points briefly, and then we will dive into our practice together. And whether you have meditated a hundred times or this is your first time, this is really designed to meet you wherever you are, just to bring us into this space together, to get centered, to get into a coherent state so you can make the most out of your time this morning. I want to remind you that when we come together for this practice of meditation, that there's nothing that we're trying to accomplish. There's no goal that has to be met. There's no list of tasks that has to be checked off. We are simply going from a state of doing to a state of being and allowing ourselves to be here right now. And I totally get it. I am a former type A myself, my friends. So if that sounds counterintuitive and unnatural, I totally get it. And oftentimes it can really feel that way in the beginning, but we are just building this practice where we get more and more comfortable just allowing ourselves to be. And I also want to remind you that we're not trying to clear our head or have zero thoughts. We're trying to allow our thoughts to come and go freely and arise and fall without the need to fixate on a thought or assess it or critique it. And again, get in that practice of just observing or witnessing what is coming up. So I'm going to invite you for the next five to 10 minutes to see if you can release that need, that need to judge yourself or judge your thoughts or assess what is coming up for you or put a label on it. And instead, see if you can practice just observing it just as it is. You know, when we come together in this practice, 
it's important to just let whatever shows up be. It is great when we do self-care activities, when we feel awesome and we're dancing and we feel fabulous, but that just may not be the case and that's okay. So I'm gonna ask to see if you can just give yourself grace this morning with however you feel, knowing that every feeling is valid and that there are a myriad of emotions that can come and go throughout these processes. When I was meditating earlier this morning, I had old stuff coming up from years ago that I thought I had fully worked through. And I was like, what is this doing here? Okay. And that's one of the most valuable lessons my amazing meditation teacher, Alyssa Mailhorn, has taught me is that thoughts just want to be acknowledged. So if we can just notice what's coming up and honor that it's there, take the information, take the wisdom, and then let those thoughts keep going. These are just a couple tools to keep in your awareness this morning. So let me think if there's anything else I want to let you guys know. I think that's it. I, I remember now the playlist. If you would like some music to accompany this experience, we have a link to the playlist in the chat and you are welcome to put that on and just have that low in the background. As we begin this meditation, I'm actually gonna put up an image on screen so you won't see me but I will be watching that chat. So if at any point the sound goes out or there's any connection issue, please don't hesitate to let me know. The meditation that we're about to do together is typically done laying down when I'm with my classes or my private clients, but I know you have a morning full of activities. So ideally you'll just get in whatever position is gonna be comfortable for you and allow you to relax. That could be lying down, that could be sitting straight up, eyes could be closed, or maybe, you know, if eyes closed isn't a safe feeling for you, it can just eyes be kind of downwards pointed towards your nose, just a small gaze. So do whatever is going to feel supportive to you to make the most of this time together. So we're going to go ahead and begin our meditation. I am going to put a quick visual up on screen. And as I'm doing this, you can go ahead and begin to just let those systems in your body start to slow down. So we're breathing together and just beginning to let everything downshift in our body. And let's go ahead and take a big inhale and exhale. And as you sigh, imagine just sighing out any heaviness or tension in your body. Breathing in again and exhaling. As you breathe out, releasing anything that may be stored in your physical body. As we come together in this space, this sacred space that we are sharing today as we all bring our energy together we can set this collective intention to release anything no longer serving us. Release anything not serving our highest good and our greatest joy. Maybe this is the day we can begin to let that go. You can take as many big inhales and exhales as you need. And then when you feel ready, begin to let breathing this natural rhythm, letting your heart rate slow down. And with every breath on your exhale, see if you can envision releasing even more physical tension. Anywhere you might be holding or gripping in your body, begin to let that go now. Let your forehead soften, your eyelids smooth out. If your jaw is clenched, see if you can relax that. Oftentimes we have our tongue on the roof of our mouth and we don't even notice it. See if you can release that now. All the way down through your body, letting your shoulders begin to relax and drop. If your hands are clenched, releasing those now. Letting your hips sink into the floor or mat beneath you all the way down to your feet, letting them feel heavy into the earth with every exhale, releasing physical tension from our body. Good. Now, as we continue to breathe on these next exhales, I want you to see if you can release any emotional tension you might be storing in your physical body at this time. 
as you breathe out, imagine beginning to release any sense of anxiety you're holding onto. Continuing to breathe with that next exhale, releasing any stress. As you breathe out, releasing any fear. Just imagining these emotions coming up and out and being carried away with your out breath. As you continue to breathe, releasing any sense of sadness, releasing any guilt, exhaling any shame, letting that go now. As you continue to breathe, releasing any judgment of yourself or your life, or where you think you should or should not be at this time. And as we let these emotions come up, we can honor the information they have, the wisdom they give us, and then send them on their way. As you continue to exhale, releasing any emotion or feeling you're ready to let go of right now. As you continue to breathe, letting this sense of lightness come over your body. Now in that space we've created in our sacred container, we're going to invite in some feelings that do feel supportive to us. So on your next breath, I want you to imagine breathing in gratitude. As you breathe in, gratitude fills up every cell in your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Gratitude is filling up every corner of your being. And as you breathe out, that gratitude begins to fill up the space around you. Breathing in gratitude throughout your lungs and your chest, exhaling gratitude into the room around you. Now on your next inhale, imagine breathing in love. Love begins to sparkle and shimmer in every cell in your body. And exhaling love into the space around you. As you continue to breathe in gratitude, imagine these waves of gratitude washing over you. As we take a moment to appreciate all of the many miracles in our life right now. Gratitude for our heart that's beating without us paying attention to it. Gratitude for our lungs that fill up with oxygen all day long without us having to lift a finger. Having appreciation for all of the systems working in our body in harmony so that we can feel good, have energy, and be here right now. Having gratitude for the food that nourished us today for the beautiful weather outside, wherever you may be. Gratitude for all of the people that we get to share this life with and make memories with. Even taking a moment to appreciate those people or things that may have challenged us this week and the opportunity they give us to practice more patience and more compassion. As you breathe, letting that gratitude swell in your heart as these waves of gratitude wash over you. Now on your next breath, I want you to see if you can picture something you specifically feel a sense of gratitude for. Just using your imagination, see if in your mind's eye, you can see a person or a place, maybe it's an animal, an activity, a memory, something you feel a deep, unconditional love for. Just picture that in your mind's eye right now. As you breathe, let that love swell in your heart as this golden sparkling light. As you envision this picture in your mind, see what you notice. Are you there? What are you wearing? What colors do you notice? What shapes? Are there scents that come to mind? Let this love permeate your entire being. Maybe even let a smile come across your face as you imagine this thing that you hold so dear. 
Now on your next inhale, I want you to see if you can place your awareness right at the top of your head, just above your head. See if you can picture this golden light beginning to sparkle and shimmer in the space just above you. And as you breathe, see if you can envision this golden light beginning to flow down through the top of your head, behind your eyes, between your ears, now circling all around and through your face and your neck. This golden shimmering light is now pouring down into your torso, across your arms. This light is sparkling and shimmering in every cell in your body, enveloping your heart and your lungs in this healing golden light. This light is now flowing down towards your stomach, swirling around your hips. This glowing golden healing liquid light is now flowing down through your legs and around your thighs, sending a healing light towards your knees and your lower legs, and now flowing all the way out through the bottom of your feet. This luminous light of healing is now flowing from the top of your head all the way down dancing through every cell in your body and flowing out the bottom of your feet. Now on your next breath, see if you can place your awareness back in the center of your chest. As we let that healing light flow through us, imagine light of unconditional love as this golden glow in your heart center. On your next inhale, I want you to see if you can imagine sending this love to somebody who needs it. As you breathe in and out, imagine sending this unconditional love straight from your heart center to theirs. This could be someone you know or someone you've never met anywhere in the world. Imagine beaming this same golden light of unconditional love to them, someone who could really use it right now. Imagine this person wrap this golden glow as this love pours out of your heart center to theirs. And just notice how that feels to give that love unconditionally without needing anything in return. Now on your next inhale, go ahead and place your awareness back in the center of your chest. See that golden light radiating outward from your heart center. And I want you to see if on your next inhale, you can send that same unconditional love to yourself. Can you imagine now wrapping yourself in that golden glow of love, that same unconditional love that you were able to give so freely to someone else? Can you now give it to yourself? Can you see yourself wrapped in this luminous light almost like you're giving yourself a big energetic hug, letting this golden light pour over and through you. As you breathe in and out, let that love radiate through every cell in your body outwards into the space all around you. Now go ahead and place your awareness back in the center of your chest, back in your heart center. Imagine that golden glow of gratitude flickering right in the center. As you continue to inhale and exhale, take a moment to just rest in the stillness. As you breathe in and out, resting in your existence. And you can listen to these words as I say them, or you can repeat them in your head or out loud. I allow myself to relax. I allow myself to relax. I allow myself to heal. I allow myself to feel good right now. Go ahead and place your awareness back in the center of your chest. You can even put your hand over your heart if you'd like to. Notice your heart beating. 
Just taking a scan of your body, just noticing whatever's going on, no need to label it or assess it. You can take this opportunity to thank yourself for choosing to spend time this way. And you can, if you'd like to, set your own intention for this day. What are you hoping to get out of this morning? Or what are you hoping to bring to this practice and these sessions today? As you continue to breathe, you can begin to let more oxygen start to fill your lungs, taking bigger breaths, keeping your eyes closed so that your brain knows it's safe to stay relaxed. You can begin to wiggle your toes, move your fingers, and very slowly and gently, when you're ready, you can start to let your eyes float open. Thank you so, so much for starting your morning with us in this way. It is a blessing to be with you. Such beautiful energy. Thank you for bringing your hearts today. Thank you, Austin Woman. There is a phenomenal lineup of people and speakers today that I can't wait to experience as well. And I'd love to stay connected with all of you. If you want to reach out or send me a message or tell me how your meditation experience went today, uh, please don't hesitate to find me on Instagram or check out my blog and I'll put those over in the chat. Blessings to you. Don, I'm going to toss it over to you. How do you feel? You got your lavender Thank you. Spray? Oh my God.